innovation requires that we question our assumptions about what is possible. So what makes this kind of thinking difficult? One of the key reasons is something called bounded rationality. Bounded rationality is a limitation on our ability to process information. How do we process information and make sense of the world? Well, what we're doing all day, every day, is we're filtering cues, we're then identifying a pattern from those filtered cues, and then we devise a response. So for example, you wake up in the morning and you want to know what the weather's going to be. So you are bombarded by cues. Maybe you smell the coffee percolating downstairs and you hear somebody in the shower, and when you open the drapes, you see clouds and wet pavement and wind. From all the cues around you, you filter those that are relevant to the question about what the weather is going to be. And from those cues, you identify a pattern. Hmm, black clouds, wind, damp pavement. You identify a pattern of rain, and then you devise a response, namely, take a jacket and umbrella to work with you today. So when we size up a situation, we're essentially telling ourselves a story. We're imposing a pattern on disparate cues. Sometimes this is not easy. What if you see a host of cues and you don't see any patterns? There's no coherence whatsoever. It's utter confusion. What if you see more than one pattern? On the one hand, it could be this. On the other hand, it could be that. Here again, we're confused. One of the key drivers of pattern identification is past experience. Our past experiences have created schema and associations in our minds. And these associations, these schema, act as filters to tell us what cues are relevant, what cues are irrelevant. What cues do we have to pay attention to? What cues can we safely ignore? Now, because each of us has a different set of past experiences, we each filter the world a little bit differently. So we can actually expand what we see as possible by tapping into other minds. Diversity of thinking in an organization is a very powerful way of expanding our ability to see more possibilities. By speaking with people, having conversations with people who don't see the world exactly the way we do, we may be able to open ourselves to patterns that we otherwise would just not be wired to see.